This is the C.P. Gillette uh, insect collection of arthropods. So this collection holds three and a half million specimens, including alcohol collections of aquatic insects and pen specimens. We're going to a 9,000 square feet in this new location uh, in the Hartshorn, uh, the old Hartshorn Medical Building, and uh, enough space to expand. We're still at a space that with 2,200 square feet, and we kept getting more donations, and so it had to go someplace. I uh, was finding some of those in my tent when I was camping. Oh. Weeks ago. <laughs> some... To finally have a place where we can show off our collection and students can have space to work with the collection. It's been a long time coming, so it's been really exciting to see. We have 3,500 drawers. Our smallest butterflies are uh, three millimeters, four millimeters, and they uh, go up to uh, width of five inches. We have the aquatics that are a worldwide collection of aquatic insects. We're databasing those specimens off the, off the label, and we've, we've completed 82,000 entries in right now of our uh, a collection of moths and butterflies. We still have to do like 12,000 sample more of databasing. We should take extra care so we don't break wing or a leg. It is interesting to contribute in this since it's a national work. Several universities are doing this, so it's kind of exciting. And our old spots, uh, there really wasn't access. Now we're accessible and more uh, readily available to, to have folks come by and look at the collection. It's a great way to honor those specimens and I appreciate the ability to be able to do that.